Okay, let's talk about turning a fraction into a decimal. If I have, for example, three-fourths, and I want to make that into a decimal, and I don't know what it is, um, you need to remember that fraction means division. And what that actually says is three divided by four. So it's three divided by four. And you'll notice it kind of looks like the fraction fell over. It fell over, and the three landed underneath the division bar. And I go ahead and I put my decimal in, and a zero, and then I just go ahead and divide. And in this situation, the decimal comes straight up, and you have to use the traditional algorithm to divide with decimals. So as I look at this, four doesn't go into three, but it does go into 30. And if I count by fours, I figure out that it goes in seven times. Seven times four is 28. 30 minus 28 is two. And I just go ahead and put in another zero and bring it down. And then I say how many fours in 20? Well, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, there are 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Subtract and get 0. And I know I'm done because I have 0 down here. If I kept having to go on and on and on, I may want to go ahead and round my decimal. Um, but 3 fourths equals exactly 0 0.75.